Hi everyone, and welcome to Jackie Reviews. Today, I'm going to review the Hotel Wyndham Altra Playa del Carmen Adults Only. Are you ready? Hello again, everyone. If you don't know me, a quick intro. My name is Jackie. My channel is generally a language channel and an acting theater ch uh, channel. I mostly do like classes, uh, French, English, and Spanish classes, as well as some uh, different plays, virtual theater, monologues, all kinds of stuff through my channel. Um, now I'm doing something a little different today. Uh, I'm one who has experienced a lot of things in my life, uh, countries, restaurants, cultures, activities, movies, plays, adventures, and I'm often asked to review and share my experiences. And I mostly do it in person, but I've decided that I'm going to add this aspect to my YouTube channel because then hopefully I can inform and help more people to make uh, decisions with like all the information that they may need, right? Uh, to make the best decision possible. I loved informed decisions, don't you? So before we go into the nitty gritty of this resort, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, C'est Jackie, for more of anything, reviews, entertainment, language classes, <laughs> just to see my face, <laughs> to like this video or, you know, don't like it, <laughs> to share this video with others. Again, the more people can see this, the better. And to comment below, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you've been to the Wilhelm Ultra and if you have any thoughts yourself or if you have any questions about this resort, please, please let me know. Muchas gracias. Bueno, so I went for nine days uh, to the Hotel Wyndham Altra in Playa del Carmen in Mexico, in Mexico, and it's adults only, so that means there are no children here, no families. And I stayed here for nine days and eight nights and I paid around $21, $2,200, so $2,200 for nine days, eight nights, and that's including the flights, okay? So I paid for an all-inclusive um, package with flights for nine days and eight nights. So I'm gonna go into the pros, and then I'll go into the cons, and then finish with some final thoughts. Pros, good price. I think 2000 200 2100 for nine days and eight nights including flights like coming to mexico was a direct flight going back i have to take um you know two flights i have to go to miami first and then go back home but that's fine i think all included and with an all-inclusive package of like all food all alcohol I think it's a pretty solid deal now number two the rooms are huge i had a king size bed a huge TV, a walk-in shower, a big-ass balcony. <laughs> I mean, it is a gorgeous and really big room for one person. Heck, I could legitimately like have two other people sleep in this bed with me and I'd still be comfortable. Um, I'd still be comfortable with one or two other people in this room. Like, there's that much space. Like, we have a table, a couple of chairs. It's great. I'll try to put some pictures and videos in uh, at the end of the video too, so that you can see some things. Number two, or next, the mini fridge is part of the all-inclusive package. And so that means that it's restocked every single day. It includes local beer, soda, Sprite, Coca-Cola and Coke Zero, sparkling water and bottled water. There is so much food and alcohol. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you could be eating for days and days and days and days and days. If you can't make it to the restaurants or don't want to, there's also room service all day and all night. So awesome. 
So there are, uh, in terms of restaurants, there's a buffet restaurant called Ventanas. There's a uh, grill restaurant called Brasas. There's a Mexican restaurant called Zarape. And there's an Italian restaurant called Bella. Um, there is a little pizza place that's right by the pool area. There's a sushi place that's at the second smaller pool area on the second small. I think it's like third floor technically or something. Um, and that's called Off the Hook. And they serve like sushi and ceviche and things like that. And uh, there's a little coffee place that serves coffee, desserts, um, as well as like ice cream. And I think that's it. Those are all the places, all the food places that they have. Uh, next pro, the pool is quite warm. So you don't really get cold uh, ever because the pool is very warm here. Next pro, there are activities throughout the week, throughout the day, and throughout the night. Um, activities such as like Zumba or water sports, or um, there's a DJ that comes one night. They have like entertainers that they hire, fire dancers or, or dancers that like do stuff acrobatics in the water or outside. Like they have all kinds of activities throughout the day. There's uh, volleyball, like in the pool, water volleyball, et cetera, et cetera. So sprinkled here and there are activities throughout the day. And last but not least, pro, we are right smack dab in the center of Playa del Carmen. Um, we are right by like the, the area, the central area where there are tons of bars, stores, clubs, restaurants, I mean, all kinds of attractions. So if the activities aren't enough in this resort, like you are literally five minutes away, six minutes away from tons of places to go, lots of clubs, lots of bars. So you have attractions of plenty. Now let's get into the cons. Now, I'm first going to give the caveat that I have been to another resort in Cancun, Mexico in 2019. And that experience obviously has colored this experience in this resort because comparison, I know, I know comparison is the worst, but I have, I'm human. <laughs> I'm going to compare both resorts. Um, so that's, that's that. And also I've been to many resorts all over the, the world, like in different countries as well. Um, Mauritius, for example, and, and Senegal. And so all those experiences also obviously color my experience here at the Wyndham Aldra. Just so you know. First con. This is a supposed beach place, but the beach is very sad. There's barely any beachfront, and it's actually advised not to swim in there. There are no lifeguards watching you if you do swim in it. I mean, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny beachfront with lots of rocks and algae, and the water looks murky uh, by the shore. So it doesn't even look appeasing to like swim in it. Uh, we dipped our feet my, um, uh, when we walked on the beach, and that was nice, but like we didn't go in and swim because again, it didn't look um, very nice and probably not super safe because no one's watching you. And uh, the staff even told us while we were walking, like to be careful um, <laughs> of the beach. So that's very sad when this is a supposed beach town. <laughs> Next con, you have to make a reservation to eat at every single restaurant of the hotel other than the buffet place ventanas and the sushi place off the hook now it's not a straightforward way to make a reservation at first when we checked in they said all you need to do um, one you, a phone is very useful a smartphone because they use uh, qr codes everywhere okay for you to access the menus for you to access like the hours, the services, all of that, QR codes are everywhere. It's really hard to get information otherwise. So you have to go use a QR code to get on their, the site that says, you know, where the restaurant, what the restaurant has, like its menu, as well as times. 
and a, a number, there's a number for to make a reservation. Now, when we call that number, and we have all, like I came here with four other people, <laughs> we have tried to make reservations by phone several times, no one picks up, ever. Uh, once we did go to the restaurant directly and, you know, uh, long story, but we were told, hey, you need to go to this place that's right by the coffee shop and make a reservation there between the hours of, uh, I don't know, I think it's 11 and 5 or 11 and 4 or something like that. But I go by there all the time and I almost never see anyone there. So yeah, it's a weird system. I don't like it. I think it doesn't really make sense. Why do we I need to make reservation to go to a restaurant? Like we should just be able to like roll up. And if you have space, awesome. If you don't, well, we go to the next place, you know, or please have someone answer your phones. Okay. Next up, a next con, the food is mediocre here. If you're expecting really good cuisine, really good Mexican food or food in general, this is not the place for you. There is some good food, don't get me wrong. The food is delicious and tasty and nice, but it's easy to get tired of it when you have to eat it every day. And the quality is not incredible. Even at the restaurants that you have to make a reservation for, it's not incredible. Baya, we went to Baya twice, and I gotta be honest, my soup and the gorgonzola salad were delicious. But I had uh, carbonara, which is a type of pasta. My sister had pizza. Uh, I also had some meat another day there. And they were all really salty and not so easy to eat. So yeah. Next con. The other thing about the restaurants is that they have lots and lots of extra chargers that are not a part of the inclusive deal. Like, for example, if you want to get wine or whiskey or you want to eat a specific type of steak, like a tomahawk steak or some lobster or, or any other kind of seafood, you have to pay extra. And the fee is not a small fee. It's like in the $40, $50, $89 <laughs> for a steak. I don't like it. If I'm paying for all inclusive, I don't want to be upcharged for things like that, left, right and center. Like, and they do this in a lot of other different ways. For example, by the pool, they have cabanas. It's like kind of these beds that are right by the pool and are gorgeous and look so comfortable and like have great shade and everything. But guess what? You can't use those cabanas unless you pay $89 or a hundred or more dollars for the day. What? <sighs> Another con, everything ends really, really early over here. It's early, especially for an all adult resort. I mean, they have activities, but like the activities generally don't go past 10 p.m. Even karaoke or their DJ night where we're supposed to dance, don't go past 10 p.m. All bars close way earlier. There's only one bar, Ka, that ends at midnight. All the others are gone which makes it hard to do a lot of things. And if you're coming for, you know, if your type of vacation is an active party style type of vacation, it means you have to go outside to get that entertainment and possibly have to pay extra in different, you know, different locales. It's a missed opportunity, especially when I've been to other resorts that go until like 2 a.m. Um, with all of these amenities. Next con, you have to use a separate card to get a pool towel. This is a really small thing. It's not something that really bothers me, but I just wanted to mention it so you know. Um, <laughs> you need an extra key card to get a towel. And what they do is they take your card and they give you a towel, but they close at a somewhat early time. Sometimes they close earlier than when the pool closes, which is at 8 p.m. And if that happens, you have to go to the front desk and they don't care if you have a towel with you. They give you a card if you ask for the card. So it, it begs the question, why have a card at all? Like, I don't, I don't see like, people stealing your pool towels, you know? Oh, or like keeping them, I don't know. I think it's unnecessary. 
next con um so it's mostly a pro most of the staff are really helpful and friendly but there are some people who are obviously um miserable <laughs> i'm just like please don't transfer your misery and like you're not being happy to us okay now pro tip and this is not part of the comments section of this video if you speak spanish they love you they really loved me and my my sister because we both speak spanish fluently so it made everything so much easier in terms of communication because a lot of them don't speak english next con they're always trying to get you to pay for more things like massages special alcohols i know i talked about this a little bit earlier but like massages too or like um food and and the stores outside the resort are the worst outside the resort there are lots of stores where you can find really beautiful artisanal crafts and all kinds of like of course alcohol um food jewelry like all kinds of really beautiful things um but they charge a ridiculous I mean, ridiculous, all caps, all bold, in red, underlined <laughs> price. And you have to be a very skilled negotiator to even get like a decent price. And when I say decent, I mean, they're still jipping you by a lot, but you're paying prices that you would pay in the US or, or a little less than you would pay in the US. Beware of these sharks, they don't play. And like I said, they charge you ridiculous amounts. So one tactic that I used is I went to several stores that were sending, selling the same thing, asking about the price. And when they would give me a price, I would cut it by 10, <laughs> like divided by 10 and say, oh, okay, you want this for a hundred? Um, how about for $10? <laughs> and then keep going up to see where we would land. And some merchants were the same. Some were very consistent. And we're like, nope, this is how much we would pay minimum. And others were not. Others, you could tell, ah, this, this shop sells it for $5. That shop sells it for $50. So beware. So just, you know, you can take a negotiation class. I highly recommend it. I teach negotiation. Hit me up. <laughs> Next con, the tipping culture. The tipping culture here is weird. There is no real tipping culture in Mexico. But due to globalization and tourist culture and, you know, the U.S., many demand a tip. I'm not saying expect a tip. Demand. The number of times I went to a store and bought some goods and then the merchant was like, well, for giving you a good price, give me a tip. <laughs> I was like, what? Why would I give you a tip? Or I'm, I'm giving you money. Wild, wild. Anyway. Just so you know. Next, come. I know I said in the pros that the water is hot, is warm, super warm, and that's a pro. It can be. It's also a con for me. For me, the water in the pool is way too hot. It's July and August. Well, it's August right now. And it is super hot and humid here in Mexico. I mean, it is mostly in the 90s Fahrenheit. Um, if you can avoid this time of the month, of the year july and or august please do because the water is super hot okay not warm but hot and it doesn't help your body to cool down i'm not a big fan of that i like it you know lukewarm would be perfect but not hot and in that vein the resort only has air conditioning in your room and at restaurants the rest of the resort is a hot bed so be prepared the you know the bar ta like most of the places in this <laughs> in this resort yeah have no air conditioning next con if you're a light sleeper the walls are paper thin so be ready i mean the walls are paper thin they're also going through construction and with the people yelling partying going here and there it can be really tough for light sleepers so just be prepared bring you know some <laughs> Some things for your ears or whatever you need in order to be comfortable and sleep well. Next con, the people who do the housekeeping and who refill the mini bar 
knock at your door at a crazy <laughs> early hour. Now I'm still working here while I'm on vacation, so um, it doesn't bother me so much, but they literally come around eight or 9 a.m. almost daily. And uh, sometimes they do it even when you have the do not disturb sign at your door, they'll still knock and knock and knock if they don't hear you. So yeah, if you wanna sleep more, it's not ideal. And those are all the cons that I have so far. Now, wild story time. When we were sitting in the common area, an employee came to my brother and said that he wasn't allowed to smoke. The thing is, my brother doesn't smoke and he didn't have anything in his hands. This employee insisted that he saw my brother with a smoking object in his hand and was just warning him. My sister and I were with him at the time. And again, we can both attest that he had no such instrument um, cigarette, vape, whatever in his hand. So I had to check the employee and tell him that he was wrong. Um, I insisted that he apologize and explained that it was all right that he was wrong, but he should be careful of unchecked biases and prejudices. I hope that this wasn't, you know, some, you know, unchecked bias that he had or that he had mistaken my brother for another black man. But yeah, it left a sour taste in my mouth and um, I didn't want him again to, to perpetuate this kind of behavior. So I had to politely, kindly, but still tell him that this was wrong. Um, it was really awesome to see so many black people. You know, I travel a lot and I've gone to several resorts and oftentimes I find that there, there isn't a lot of diversity. Um, it's mostly, you know, white people who are at these resorts because they're expensive and they're the ones who can afford to pay for a nice trip many times at like really expensive places. Um, but here there were so many black people, couples, uh, all girl groups, singles, groups, like even all male groups, etc. And another really surprising thing was there were so many boys trips. I have never seen so many groups of guys at a resort before in my life. I mean, and it's not common. Usually when I travel, you'll see lots of girl groups uh, traveling together, you know, bachelorette groups, best friends, whatever. But guy groups, like, it's wild and it's really cool. Now, overall, I give this resort between a 3.6 and a 4.0, depending on the aspect of the resort which would average that up to 3.8 out of five stars. This is a fine resort. It's decent. There are better ones. And if you do your research, I'm sure you can go to a better one. I will probably do a second video after I leave. I'm still here for uh, another day. So I'm going to keep observing, keep writing some thoughts and if I have any more thoughts or, you know, if you have any questions too or comments that you leave below, that would be awesome. And that would help me to know if I need to do a second video or not on the Windham Altra on Playa del Carmen adults only. Uh, I'll try to put some videos and pictures at the end of this video so you can see, you can get a full picture of this resort. It's beautiful. And I hope to see you at my next video, whether it's a review or a language class or theater. Thank you so much, guys. See you later. Ciao.
Dangerous times don't fly too high Be sure to keep the ground in sight Fly forever if you keep it tight Love the world but keep the sky on your mind Fly 